A tax court case is closed in accordance with the judge's opinion by entry of a decision. There are four types of tax court opinions that may be issued. A division opinion that is published in the tax court reports, a reviewed opinion that has been reviewed and approved by the vote of the full court and is also a published opinion, memorandum opinions that are not published and are not intended to be used as precedent, and summary opinions issued for S cases, which also may not be used as precedent or cited to as authority. So it's important to understand the precedential value of these different types of cases when you're doing tax research, uh, because if it's, if it's not meant to be a precedent, if the case isn't meant to be a precedent, it's, it's, it's not binding on the court. Uh, and, and so they may look at it and consider what they've done in the past or what other judges on the court have done, but it, it will not bind the decision of, of the court before your case. This chart shows a breakdown of a 10-year average of total opinions rendered by the tax court by type. You can see that the majority of cases are not published and are without precedential value. About 7.6% of the cases during this window were published. While unpublished cases might be helpful in determining the direction the tax court could treat a particular tax position, they're not binding in any way, similar to a PLR for an armed party. So less than 10% of the tax court opinions are published opinions, whether they're reviewed opinions or division opinions, and the majority of the opinions rendered by the tax court are memorandum opinions that are without any precedential value whatsoever. Even with this low number of decisions resulting in precedent, from the IRS's perspective, one negative precedent could cost the Treasury millions of dollars, as it could be adopted by thousands of taxpayers. So the IRS is motivated to settle with individual taxpayers based not only on the hazard of litigation as to that particular tax liability, but also in regards to taxpayers in general facing that particular tax issue.